All right, guys. So, holy cow. Okay, 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 okay. First look, first look. So we beat my boss, my team. My team beat the, the freaking Fobiter boss, right? He's level two now, which means even like throughout the week, you can continue it. I hope that like next week, like next week after this attack phase, he'll be level two at the start. But he might be like level one, then you have to con constantly beat him. Holy cow, that might be really, really insane. Anyway, I got a chip. So I'm gonna open this and see what it is. Oh my god, it's a scratch card. What the freak? Potential, what does this mean? Wow, okay. So if you're lucky, you can get like a Billymon fragments or, or, or a gold record or whatever. I, I mean like this is like the level one shit, right? So it's, it's gonna be pretty low. But potential for 30,000, damn. I, I, it's insane. Okay, I'm just gonna go straight for it. Are you, are you guys corner people or are you middle people? Who are the people out here who sit in the corner? No, 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 I'm alpha. I'm gonna go in the middle, straight in the middle. That's not bad. Oh, and you get the, and you get the thing. And you get the thing. Right, okay. That's pretty cool. And so, yeah, you'll get different shit. The, chits you'll get different ultrasonic chits for the uh, for the thing okay well right now i'm going to attempt to beat the boss okay so i actually have a team ready kind of not really because i don't have a uh a... okay so these guys will be all the ap control i need i believe right yeah 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 so this should be all the AP control I need. Can I get like a speed relic here? Damn, that's my only speed. Uh, let's just get any, any speed relic then. Oh. Yeah, let's just let's just be fast. Oh god, oh god. Okay, this is perfect. Okay, 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 okay. So my AP reduce, uh, and then I need a cleanser. This should work, I think. Let's go with Jin Yao, actually. Let's go with Jin Yao. Equip her with some basic stuff. Maybe let's unequip what was on my Clara. Never mind, I have nothing on her. Maybe let's unequip this, right? So we're going to equip with the best that I have. We're gonna put her in the Divine Synthesis pod. That way she goes to level 50. And then we're gonna put Donar for the lead. And this should be pretty good, okay. So I only plan to get B here. And as mentioned yesterday, in the previous video this is the shimmer form and in this shimmer form what you want is to basically never let countess sonica get a turn that way she will never attack you and so she has this broken tracks thing which is basically it's a 10 turn cooldown and the, whenever countess sonica or the spotlight which in this case is the highest defensive esper which is my donar takes a turn this cooldown gets minus one and when this goes to zero she automatically takes a turn and then goes into her second form. So we want to make sure that Countess Sonica never attacks. And we want to do that by AP controlling her. Now, what's interesting is this hardcore voice, which is basically you will take damage at the start of your turn. But when a buff is dispelled, in this case, when this hardcore voice is dispelled, if you use like uh, Catherine or like Jin Yao, uh, they will recover that healing. So you don't want to bring healers here because all other healing will be reduced. So what you want is cleansers instead of healers, which is kind of counterintuitive. So I want to make sure that she never gets a turn. So yeah, right there, uh, Jin Yao healed everyone. She healed slightly thanks to her passive, which is the 5%, but she healed more thanks to the hardcore voice being dispelled. And now I want to just try to AP down her even more. This should remove the buff again, which should heal her, I think. No, it didn't. Okay. So, yeah. That one, again, um, Heng Ye dispels all the debuffs, and that is what heals everyone. The healing itself from the skill doesn't actually matter here. 
So anyway, let's just continue to steal. Okay, so this is what's gonna be important to me. So, Donar is built with lots of defense. He has the highest defensive Esper, and obviously he scales his damage off of his defense. Now, the Spotlight also gets increased defense and increased damage. So, this should deal a ton of damage in comparison to like, let's say my Xiao Yin, who is built on a damage set actually, but dealt only 5,000. So, we're gonna take a tap. Bam, 35,000, that is pretty neat. Okay, so what's really important here is that I want to clarify what this means because this says when uh, when a, the spotlight takes an action, uh, takes an action, right? So when Donar takes his turn, when Donar takes his turn, he will attack because of the conductor, but then he will also take an action. So I'm wondering if the conductor, uh, if the thunderback will count and remove this down by one and then he'll take his turn and then remove this down by another one. If that is the case, then Donar is really, really bad because you want to make sure you get as many turns out of him and you don't really want to hit with the conductor. I'm not really sure. I mean, 90% is still pretty nice, but I think Jozer has higher multipliers, so that, that might be better. And anyway, we're just gonna make sure. So yeah, because Count Sonica actually never attacks here, uh, you don't really have to worry. So you only need to like offset the hardcore voice damage, basically, which is not that bad. Though. Okay, so the 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 thunderback just happened, and it doesn't count, which means Donar is actually the best one instead of being pretty bad. So some so damage, fifteen thousand. Yeah, it's only minus seven. Okay, so yeah, Donar is the best one here. Donar is the best one because the conductor counts as an additional like attack, basically. Even though you're not really gonna get like these thunder blessings stacked off because she doesn't attack you, it's still an extra ninety percent damage, which is pretty pretty nice. And yeah, my donor's doing not that much damage right now. I don't really have him built on a proper crit rate, crit damage set or whatever. He just has lots of defense, which that's all I'm trying to capitalize on for this showcase. Oh, Count the Sonica might take a turn here. I don't have like very powerful AP control. Yeah, 28, okay. So Count the Sonica takes a turn here, which you never want to happen because this will reduce the broken tracks and yeah, I don't. I didn't have strong enough uh, AP control, which is my bad. She also, oh god, each stack reduces the damage taken max ton. So yeah, doubly so. You don't want Counter Sonica to attack because she will get the Searing Sight, and if she gets the Searing Sight, she will take less damage. And I'm pretty sure that this Searing Sight is throughout even after the first phase. So yeah, you really, really, really don't want Counter Sonica to take a turn ever in this game mode. Okay, so I have that up, and then he should conduct her, yeah. So that's pretty interesting. So you kind of want to balance having AP controllers and like a cleanser. I'm pretty sure like just one cleanser should be enough. Oh, wait, I got the Celestial Gym because she attacks. Is that it? I think that's it. Yeah, I think she she applies these uh, celestial dims if you attack. Oh, I see. So this is constantly at one at the moment. It looks like this is constantly at one at the moment. Yeah, I think it looks like it's when she attacks. Hold on, I want to test. So. She attacked all enemy two times. What if she's only attacked one enemy, right? So only that enemy should get the should get the thing if I let her attack, right? I'm gonna let her attack. I'm actually gonna let her do it. Here, I'm not gonna. Let's not do that. Let's heal a bit. Okay, she's going to attack. She's gonna attack one enemy twice. Bam bam. Oh, two enemies. And then now they get. Oh no, Every t everyone gets a Celestial Dim. Oh god, okay, so it's just anytime she takes a turn. Uh, it's not mentioned anywhere here, but yeah, okay. Interesting. Alright. That's pretty cool. Alright, that's pretty much it, I think. So now she gets her turn. And she goes into her Frenzy form. Tax everyone. 
Yeah, attacks everyone and then Celestial Dim increases again. Okay, I see. So this is just to make sure that you cannot infinite the boss, basically. Anytime you get attacked, she, she puts on a Celestial Dim on you. Which is pretty nice to know. Now everyone's dealing normal damage again. So my donor doesn't do that much anymore. That's insane. She got a second turn? Why'd she get a second turn? Oh, I think she just outsped me. Yeah, she just outsped me. And then overload, whatever that was. Ah, okay, that's interesting. Well, that happened. Um, yeah. Oh, guys, 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 guys. I can kill her. I can kill her. I'm gonna blitz this, right? I'm gonna kill her. And then we're gonna be able to roll again for the ultrasonic shit, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So now this is a different ultrasonic shit. Because this one's for Fobiter. And this one is for Countess Sonica. Alright. So again, we're gonna go for the middle. Now take up the space. That sucked. Alright. Very interesting though. That's pretty fun. Okay, well, anyway, that's a bit of a sentinel hunt. Well, anyway, I guess that's pretty much it. It's pretty cool. This is like some sort of... This is like another way to like, you know, gotcha system lottery ticket, like scratch the cards, which is, which is pretty nice. And yeah, look at that. Look at these rewards. Anyway, I think that's it for today. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you guys in the next one. Ultrasonica, what? Countess Sonica is pretty fun, and I enjoy it. Anyway, that's it. Bye-bye. Get out of here.